Productions, and we're back here again in the backyard uh, fishing the Rio Grande River. Um, we're here catching some baits um, in the clear ditch. Hopefully, we get something good today. I'm going to show you guys. Um, springtime, the catfish are spawning, um, chubs are spawning. Most of these fish in these parts are actually spawning, so it should be some good fish and they should be aggressive. And uh, little luck. Hopefully, we'll bring you something worth watching. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> yeah, she, they're, they're spawning, and I, this is a big female. Try and get a hold of some little ones. Yeah, and I think I want to get some ad adolescent chubs. You know, these chubs are a pretty amazing little fish. They're uh, very adaptable. Um, you can find them pretty much in all the freshwater clear ditches around here. And uh, we want to ensure that this species survives in these this area. It's making noises. Could you hear? What that noise is, is it's to either warn off other fish that there's predators in the area or it's, they also use it as a mechanism to shock their prey before they eat it. Catfish do it too. Make a funny noise of that. <laughs> yep. Sending off a shock wave that actually uh, temporarily paralyzes a small minnow or, or a worm or something like that and they're able to eat it. That's what I caught him on was a worm because he did it again. Better let it go. Wow, look at the size of that thing. Take a look at her. It's a female. She's got a little bit of damage on her. And there's some big fish in here that could eat these things whole. We saw one the other day, a huge bass feeding on these chubs in here. Pretty cool looking fish. This guy really swallowed it. So we have a few chubs. Normally we take four or five chubs, depending on how many hours we're going to be back here fishing. Um, we never like to take more than what we need. We want these chubs to be in here in this drainage for generations and years to come. Um, I don't know if it's because it's breeding season or what, but these chubs are um, 
a lot bigger than normal. <laughs> so I think we're good with what we have. Um, let's get to the river and see if we can catch some big fish. We're back here in the backyard fishing again with Up in the Hills Productions. This is Luke. Up in the Hills angler, Mateo Nunez. He's on camera today and he'll be on some fish hopefully as well. Hopefully we can bring you guys some action out here. This wind's going to make it tough, tough to cast. It's going to move the water around. It's going to have a, it's going to definitely have an effect on how the fishing's going to turn out today. But um, sometimes you just get lucky, you never know. We're not going to quit. We're going to keep going and see what happens. There he goes. Okay, you got this. Right there? Yeah. Bro, got. Give me my rod tip. Give me my rod tip. Ah. Oh my. Okay, look, film down. He's coming swimming up fast towards us. He's right underneath us, dude. See if he doesn't take me up forward. He's a good one. Oh man. No. <laughs> they're, they're hard to hold, man. You hear my drag? Oh. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for all the noise, folks. He's just pretty strong. <laughs> he ain't quite ready. I don't want to mess him up. Okay, let's see he's on. Oh, he's going to break the line. Oh, huh. <laughs> dang. Look at that baby. This is Luke Roasted with Up in the Hills Production. We're in the backyard again, doing some spring channel cat fishing in the Rio Grande River. Some of the best fishing around these parts. It's in my backyard, and I'm thankful to have it. I'm thankful that I get to show you guys the fun I get to have back here. It's pretty incredible. I've been doing this. 30 years and uh, ain't nothing like it. This channel catfish will probably weigh in at a good three or four me by oh. pounds. They will break your line or your rod. They are so strong. Amazing fish. They're ancient. They've been in this river for all of time. We're going to continue. We're going to make sure that they continue living in this river for all of time. John, but they'll hold him out. Feel heavy? Keep feeling. Oh. Yeah. Get some, Mathiel. Oh, yeah. Don't force him in. Let him fight. That's a giant yellow belly. That's got to be some sort of trophy. Holy <laughs> moly. Look at the size of that yellow belly. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, man. Barely got him. On the chub, huh? On the chub. And that's a big piece of chub. That's Look at the fat. size yeah, the... of that yellow belly. I want to show all the people on YouTube something. <laughs> okay. This is the reason why we don't care for catching these yellow bellies too much. They're a lot of fun. And they actually fight for their size. This is the reason. Let me take the hook off of it first. Ow! <laughs> and when you're trying to take the hook out of them, sometimes they get it lodged in there good. Ow! That made me bleed a little bit. They, they, they hurt. <laughs> it's not fun. I, I mean, that, I didn't want to do that, but I just wanted you guys to see what... Sometimes we talk about these yellow bellies and not liking them so much. Yup, that's why. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> phone man, you got it? Oh. oh. That looks like a good fish, Mathieu. That looks like a real good fish. Nice, back to back. Ease him in. Get excited. Hold your rod tip a little up. Just let him fight if he wants. 
try and keep him out of those bushes as much as you can. But let him run if he needs to. He ain't coming up. Don't don't push your rod tip towards him. Hold your rod tip out out to the side. If you put your rod tip towards him, you'll lose him. You'll lose the tension from the flexibility of the rod. Oh man, that's a monster turtle, bro. <laughs> Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, look yeah. at that turtle, oh my god, yeah, bring him in, man, that's a giant turtle, hey, go film him, go, go. look at that, man, oh, oh, wow, fight him, son, he's big, this is a trophy, <laughs> turtle, turtle, Oh, oh man! Hey. I doubt we'll get this guy on the shore, but it sure would be cool to look at him. I ain't putting my hands on him. Hold on, Mateo. Yeah, get a good shot of him. Walk him that way so that he can get a good shot. And we'll, we'll cut the line and let him go. He's right. It's right there. I have some needle nose. Probably get it off of him. Pull him out. Let's get him. Come on, folks. <laughs> Fortunately, I roll up my sleeves. I'll cut what we don't want. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want to hurt the turtle. A lot of times when they swallow the hook, we actually cut as close to the turtle as we could, the line off, and the water actually dissolves the hook pretty rapidly, faster than what you would actually think it would. And uh, they live, and they'll, they'll be fine. Um, sometimes when you try to force the hook out, it will actually hurt them. So uh, also, we try to remove the hook if we could, but that little yellow belly bite earlier, doesn't got nothing on this turtle. This turtle will take your finger off, especially one this size. You know, I see a lot of people walking around this river sometimes. You know, that's cool and it's fun, especially when it's hot out. But I recommend wearing a pair of tennis shoes when you're doing that. <laughs> and you're gonna see why. Let's see if we can get this bad boy up here without oh. hurting him. Oh, hold on. Let's bring him on his belly. Okay, here we go. Watch out, careful, because he might try to Run at us. Boom, he's gone. It's way too heavy to pick up. That turtle probably weighed about 15 pounds, maybe. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find back here. It's all in the fun. Good job, Mateo. The turtle yeah. man right there. Up in the hills production turtle man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> These cottonwood trees are amazing. That tree there has got to be over a hundred feet tall. Got him. Oh, bro. Oh, man. I'm trying to get away from that bush. This is a decent one. He's coming up towards me now. He's gonna fight here. All right, I'm at, he's out of the bushes here. You got him right here? Oh, oh, man.
them up on here on this bank. Hope you don't break my line when I'm pulling them up. Beautiful. Again, we're here with Up in the Hills Production. We're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We are in the 505. We are in the city. This is urban fishing at its best. <laughs> you could tell it was urban fishing because you can't see out of the bosque. Get him. Bang! <laughs> Got him. Sounds really good. Oh. oh man. Oh, he's still on there. Sometimes they swim towards you folks and it looks like they're off, but they're not. This guy's a decent fish. Sure is putting a good fight. Wow, he's good. Good one. He's going upstream. I don't know if you can see that, but they're so powerful. They swim so hard. That fish was going upstream like it was easy. Pull him out and let's look at him. All right. Beautiful fish. Folks, this is a channel catfish straight out of the Rio Grande. These fish are native to this river. They're not stocked here. Um, so what's in here was bred and, and has been living in here. And we want that to continue. Um, these fish are really cool and really fun to catch. Little guy, little guy. Oh, let's get a bigger one, man. <laughs> one thing I can say about New Mexico, whether it's sunny, whether it's raining, the skies are always beautiful. Right now we have an overcast. It's been sprinkling on us. It's been windy off and on. It's been hot early on and cold later on the skies are always interesting out here there's never a dull moment while we're fishing sometimes when the bite's slow it's good to sit back and kind of absorb everything around you I'm going to take some more video of these barn swallows because the sun is actually reflecting off of, off of them and turning them white. You can see them really good just how many there are. They're an essential element to the bosque because they take care of the bug population. Which uh, for anglers, we like them. We don't like mosquitoes. That's a Canadian goose. They're wild and they migrate from Canada down to the northern tips of Mexico. We're here in New Mexico and uh, it's pretty neat to see these birds here. They could travel for thousands of miles. Beautiful. It's just incredible back here in the evening. This is the time, folks. He's coming. The big old tomcat. He's coming. I could feel him.
Ducati. Oh, bro. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to see the road track. Damn, dude. I can't move this fish, bro. I'm just holding on for dear life right now, dude. Oh, shit. Sorry for the cussing in. One. Has he came up yet? Folks, this is going to be the one. Oh, oh my god. Bro. I wouldn't be able to handle a fish bigger than this one. But this little rod I have. We like our light action rods. And uh, it's fun. But when you get a fish like this, sometimes you end up kicking yourself for having the, a rod this light. What I'm doing is I'm just playing this fish right now. I'm going to let him get tired. He's actually swimming towards me a bit. Um, he's actually coming right towards me. You got that net handy, dude. I'll see if I can swipe him. But hey, once he sees us, he's going to get excited and he's going to take off. And I'm telling you right now, he is, can break this line. I have my drag set. Just uh, give him a second, man. He's right underneath us. I haven't even got a look at him. He's right below us. Oh, there he is, Joseph. Okay. Here we go, That's folks. A good one. This is what we came for. This catfish is a, a beautiful fish. He's gotta be pretty old. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good job. <laughs> well, folks. <laughs> Me again, Luke Grostet with up in the hills production. We've just uh, landed a pretty good fish here. This fish right here is insanely powerful. These things right here will break your rod and rig if you are not ready for them. Um, this fish right here probably weighs around seven pounds, maybe eight pounds. Um, you know, we, we support ugly stick, we use ugly sticks. Um, you don't have to use a fancy rod, a fancy reel. Use what you got. The more important thing is have a good line. Always make sure you have a good line and make sure your drag is set. That's the most important thing. When your drag is set, the fish is taking line away from you. You better let this guy go. We want him to live. <laughs> this beautiful fish it was a fun fight. <laughs> Up in the hills.